What's up, Snake fans? Dave Palumbo here for Muscle Serpents Daily, and we're going to be doing some cool stuff today. We're building an ARS hatchling rack. I should say, I should even include myself. Actually, it's it's two really good guys. Uh, they bought bows for me before. Mikey and uh, Blake are going to come over here, help me set up this uh, rack and build this thing out. I have the uh, hybrid rack that I got from ARS, which is a hatchling rack. It's got a tremendous amount of levels. It's got 13 levels, and as you can see right behind me, that's uh, not the one that we just bought, but that's the one we're going to be uh, simulating because that's another one that I bought last year. I love the rack so much, I bought another one. It's just a real pain in the neck to set it up, and I have like very limited time. So these guys are going to help me build it. In the meantime, I'm going to show you guys some uh, some babies ball pythons that have been um, shedded out. I'm going to take them out of the incubator. We're going to set them up in racks now and. We're going to go through some of the cool stuff we have. So let's take a look and see what we got. And uh, hopefully by the time this video is over, we'll have built the entire ARS hatchling rack. All right. I have to say that uh, Mikey and Blake here stepped up to the plate. These guys, you know, have come over to my house before. They, they got some snakes for me before. They, they're boa guys. And they agreed to help me put together the ARS rack. So we actually unboxed the whole thing. We got rid of the box. We got all the parts out. You guys thought I was exaggerating. There's literally like probably like 300 parts here. And we got a, a thousand screws. But we're going to put this thing together. And, and if we do it right, right now they're doing most of the putting together. It's going to look like this. So we got another hatchling rack. Obviously, we got a lot of babies. We got to have room for these babies. And we're putting this thing together. So I'm going to show you guys. I'm not going to do the whole, film the whole thing and then speed it up in, in fast motion. That would be cool, but, but I'm too lazy to do that. But actually, maybe I will. Who knows? All I'm saying is that these ARS hybrid racks are the best because number one, they're they're lighter. They use recyclable material, and they're just, because they're lighter and they can be and they're assembled. The whole thing, they can be shipped much cheaper. So these racks are like half the price. So if you went and bought a, an ARS rack. Like this one, the old ones, which by the way are awesome. They're like, they weigh a thousand pounds, these things. They're like, they're super heavy. I couldn't lift that whole thing on myself because they're all cast iron and they come in levels. So they, when they ship them, you know, they're all put together already. So it takes up a lot more space, which obviously makes it much more, you know, costly to the ship. Now these new ones, because they're, they come apart in pieces and they can be put into a big box. I showed you guys the other day. They're much easier to ship, but you know what? They look just as good when they're assembled. They're lighter to move around, and I think they're awesome. So for, I love them. I wish I had all these, actually, but I like to have variety. I have some, you see, I have some vision racks. I have um, Freedom Breeders in the other room for the boas. I have animal plastics. I mix it up. I don't need uniformity. I'm not oh, that OCD. But Mikey and Blake are, are hard at work, and I appreciate it, and they'll be greatly... Greatly hooked up once uh, once we get some more bow litters. I know these guys are going to want more bows because they're, they're boa fanatics. They just don't know it yet. They... <laughs> All right, let's get back to this. We're going to be looking at a, a clutch that's just hatching out, or just finished hatching out, I should say. This was my Super Pastel Banana Mojave Clown that was supposedly hypo. I believe he's probably had hypo. And I'll show you why. He was bred to a honeybee, which is a spider hypo female. So let's take a look at these babies. Let's go for let's go for the uh, the ones that look pretty normal. So right off the bat, I see two normals, and that tells me well, these are head clowns. They're hundred. Everything's going to be hundred percent head clown. But this tells me right away that the male that I bought from the guy who said they were hypo, and I had a feeling they weren't hypo was probably head hypo and I'll, we did get some hypo so he's definitely head hypo he's just not a visual hypo because otherwise everything would have been hypo because the the mother is hypo she's a spider hypo or honeybee so we got two you know normal looking head clowns and if you notice these don't look normal and the reason they don't look normal is actually and these are also head hypo so they're actually double head hypo clowns the visual component of a head clown is definitely not normal. It definitely messes with pattern and can enhance color a little bit. Um, so that's why these things don't look normal. But by and far, from a perspective of genes, they are you know, pretty much normal. 
Um, but super powerhouses in the sense if you're looking to produce hypo clowns, it's a much cheaper way to get into the project than to buy the visual. So these definitely will sell. I always sell heads and double heads very easily because I put them at a very reasonable price and people respond to that <laughs> because not everyone has a lot of money. And this is a honeybee, which is a pastel spider or a bumblebee that's also got the hypo gene in it. So this is a hypo spider pastel. It's head clown. So this baby will be desirable by someone because they can make some cool stuff, some cool clown stuff, some cool hypo spider clown stuff. Now we go one step further and we look at this guy. Look at that. Wow. That's really nice. That is what I believe to be a banana spider hypo pastel head clown. Really clean looking. Look how clean those lines are. And really nice looking. Very bright colored. Get the purples in there for the banana. And we got some other cool banana stuff going on here as well. Pull those out. Let's move these guys aside for a second. And look at this guy. Wow. That is what I believe to be a banana Mojave. Probably pastel. That's possibly hypo. I don't know if it's hypo though. I'm not seeing too much hypo. It could be. It's got some interesting blushing going on. Obviously, this is 100% head clown. It almost looks yellow belly to me, but there's no yellow belly in here. I'm looking, no yellow belly. So I have to assume probably that it's the pastel that's doing that. We look at another here banana we got here. This one's pretty similar. I think we also hit the Mojave banana pastel head clown. Now, if these are not visual hypos, they'll be they'll be probably uh, they will well, they definitely will be head hypos because the mom was hypo. So when you're dealing with so many genes, you got to figure out everything. And I don't figure things out ahead of time. I like to do things spontaneously on the fly. Now, let's, here's the last one in the clutch. Really, really another nice, really banana. I know all you banana freaks out there are going to be hitting me up and saying, how much for the bananas? These are really clean looking bananas. I think this is also banana Mojave pastel head clown. These three look very similar to This one definitely is pastel here. I can see his head is erased. This one might not be pastel. I'm not sure. This one's pastel. These two are definitely pastel here. This one might not be. It's possible. So it's a little darker, that one. So many genes at play here, I'm not really sure. You know, we're gonna let these guys shed out, eat a couple meals, grow a little bit, and then I think they're gonna they're gonna their true colors will come out like we got an escapee. Whoa, let's get you back in the fray here. So really nice clutch. Once again, you know, a lot of people say, oh, what you, why do you keep, you know, like a, a honeybee, which is just basically a hypo spider. She's a big female. She produces really good litters for me, you know? And if I mix in some high-end males with her, I can always produce good stuff. And that's, and people are always looking for head clown stuff because they don't want to spend the money on the visual clown stuff. So for me to breed clown stuff to her, and I have a really, that powerhouse male that I bred to her is, is, was great. So this is a good litter, you know, this is, this is stuff that people can afford to buy and it looks beautiful. I mean, look at those bananas. I mean, they're all gorgeous. Look at the spider banana. I mean, this, and there's so many genes mixed in that you, I have to sell a lot of this stuff as possible. So you guys know, Ozzy does it too, all the time. I've gotten some great stuff from Ozzy that he sold as a possible and approved out. So that's the way it goes, you know? You're not gonna, we're not gonna know all the genes in these until they breed and then we prove it out. But we can guess, you know, we're pretty, we'll be pretty close. So if anyone wants any of this stuff or likes it, hit me up. I'm not gonna be selling it for, you know, a couple, they gotta get a couple meals in them first, but certainly a lot of this, maybe all of it will be available.
right, Blake, what do we got here? We got uh, another level. We got two levels on here. I like it. It's starting to look like a rack. A lot of trial and error, but I think you're starting we, to we, we made a mistake, right? Well, you guys made a mistake. I haven't done anything. I, I'm, gonna, I'm not taking any credit for doing this because you guys are really knocking it out of the park. I'm setting up snakes and taking doing videos. But, yeah, if you don't listen to the directions on this and you try to jump the gun, which what these guys did was they built one level just to see how it went, and then they realized that they forgot to put... Show us those slats that go in there. Yeah, Mikey forgot to put, we forgot to put these in first. You have to put them in first before you put that that yeah, that, that, that front out. bar on. If, otherwise, they don't go in. So make sure you follow the directions. That's the key. <laughs> All right, so we got two levels, and we have about 15 to go. No, we have, a lot to, we have a lot to go. But I think once you get the hang of doing the one level the right way, yeah. it goes way, way, way faster. And then, of course... Once we get those on, then we put the, uh, the, the, these are the heat panels here. And then once the heat panels go on, then we have the, uh, the tubs that are in the other room over there. And then we slide those in. And I got my, this I, I bought separately. This is my um, plug where you plug all the levels because every level has its own heat thing. Now, I, just, I always choose to put them all in one big thing, but um, that's up to you guys. Some people like to use different, maybe three levels per strip. And then they put them into different uh, thermostats. These are so solid, rock solid, and they're brand new. I usually put all of them into one panel, and then I plug them into one thermostat. All right, guys, we're going to look at this uh, next litter that is uh, shed out. This is my ivory banana. It's head pied, 50% head albino male that I bred to an asphalt female and man did we freaking hit the odds let's take a look and see what we got here first of all just by perusing the, the litter you see we hit all bananas so there's only a 50 percent chance of getting bananas and we got all bananas or what looks to be all bananas I think we probably don't have all but they they're very close now this male also excuse me was was orange dream as well he was possible had he proved out he actually proved out last year Let's look at some of these snakes. Let's start with this. Let's start with this boy. This is a banana, which looks to be possibly orange dream, but I don't think so. But he's definitely yellow belly because remember the dad was in uh, was in ivory. Ivories are super yellow belly, so every baby he's got to be either yellow belly, okay. Well, it's got to be yellow belly, and then obviously, if we get the asphalt gene from the mama, we can get uh, we can create a freeway. But this this guy looks to be yellow belly banana. Now, if we go a step further than that, we look at this this guy right here. This guy's got some much more orange in him, so I'm more inclined to say that this guy is banana, orange dream, yellow belly, and you can tell the clear yellow bellies they got. Nice blushing on the on the lower border right here. That that really is a tip off for from yellow belly. But we know they have to be yellow belly. So we got two really nice ones right here. These could these are 50% head albino, 50% head pied as well. Now we put it, we take another, we take another boy here. This one's a lot more orangey, so definitely orange dream yellow belly banana. Um, I can't believe we produced all bananas in this thing. Or mostly at least. Alright, let's let's go to the next one. This guy, look at this one. Look how orangey this one is. So there's different degrees of orange in here. This one is really, really orange. I don't know why he's more orange than the other ones, but this one is definitely orange dream, banana, yellow belly. And because they get the clear bellies, you're not gonna see pride markers on these, unfortunately. So it's gonna be really hard to see if if they are indeed. Although this one has slightly a striped tail and it does look a little different. So maybe this one, his head pied here. Now, here's another one we got. <laughs> we got. We got a lot of babies. You guys are gonna really be able to take advantage of this clutch. This one has also got a lot of orange in it too. So I also think it's a banana, orange dream, yellow belly, hoss head pied. And once again, nice clear bellies. These, this one's got a little bit of stripe on the tail, but I don't know. It, it's impossible to tell if these are head pieds because of the erased bellies from the yellow belly, okay? So we got all of these beautiful bananas here. Most of them will be available for sale, and I'll show you why in a minute. 
All right, now we have the stunners. Here we got it. We got a banana orange dream freeway. Unbelievable looking. Look at that. So freeway being the asphalt yellow belly. So remember, the dad threw all yellow, the all yellow belly. The mom was in asphalt, so she had a 50% chance. So we only got we only got two freeways out of this whole clutch. But I'll take them because we got banana and orange dream as well. Now this one here is not quite as purple, but it does have the purples in it. Now I sexed this one and it's a male and I sex this one it's a female now this was obviously a very male because they're all bananas I have a male maker banana here the, the ivory is a, the ivory banana is a male maker and so I'm thinking maybe this one is not banana maybe it's just orange dream freeway that's possible um, it is a lot more orange this one has got a little bit more purples in it, but they both, they both have a lot of purples in it. So it's really hard for me to tell if one is and one isn't. I'm gonna have to let them grow up a little bit and I'm obviously breed, breed them out, you'll prove it. Obviously, I would definitely, if I had a bet, the male would definitely have banana and orange dream in it. The female, not so sure, obviously, just because it, it, should, it should be a, a male that has banana, but that doesn't always adhere. I showed you my banana enchi orange dream tri head tri stripe head pie the other day that was a female and that should have been a male so um doesn't always go according to the sex linked rules there is gene crossover that occurs like i said and you could get you know variations so but super cool clutch i mean these are just awesome i mean i got i brought them out in the light here it's not too hot today which is nice and you can just see how spectacular these babies are so if anyone's interested in these, um, let me know. Obviously, I might sell one of these guys, but for sure, the, the males in here, banana, yellow bellies, and the banana yellow belly orange dreams will be available. Hit me up. All right, Mikey and Blake, you guys did it, man. Look at that. Built that whole rack off me. How long do you think that took today? Like, yeah. Two hours, bro. Two, yeah. Three hours. yeah. I see you were doing a lot of the, the screw gunning. Yeah. yeah Mikey. That's the hard part. <laughs> the yeah. Hard part. <laughs> How many times did you have to undo it and redo it? Oh, just one on the first one, but then it seemed like every one of them it took double screws. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is, is a work of art. We, we had perfect amount of uh, equipment. We weren't short on any screws. We weren't short on any tubs. Nothing. Everything worked out perfect. Thank you, ARS Racks. Give you like a little, get you a little sticker up there. Nice. We're gonna start putting some baby steaks in here, right guys? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you so much, guys. Thank and uh, I appreciate you coming over and uh, helping out. And uh, you guys are gonna definitely be hooked up on the next steak. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know I did because I got a huge hatchling rack out of it. And I got a lot more slots now to put new babies in, start growing those guys up. We still have stuff from 2019 that needs to move, but it's been moving pretty good. So I'm gonna start doing some more videos on some of the stuff I have available still because I have to update Morph Market. I've been selling stuff very quickly and I haven't really been updating it regularly. But once again, we're in the middle of hatchling season. Now, although I'm still getting some clutches on the ground and I'm still waiting for a few boa litters, so a lot of cool, exciting stuff has been, been happening. Now's the time when a lot of breeders are doing trades between each other. So. I might be getting some cool stuff and I, I'm going to show you maybe next week, I think on Monday, I'm going to show you some stuff I got from my, my good friend, Big Mike Weitzman at Basically Boas. I bought two really killer boas from him and I'm super excited to show you what I got. He actually sent me some cool cichlid fish with it, which I'll, I'll even tease you with those as well. So that'll be on Monday, however. For now though, I hope you guys have a great weekend. You never know, I could do a weekend video. It, it, it is possible. But you guys do know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications, hit the like button, and we'll see you back Monday morning.